Today we're going to be looking at what might just be the cheapest wireless lav mic system on the market. Hi, I'm Arnie, and here we talk travel, accessories, and camera gear. If you're into any of that, why don't you consider subscribing? Just click that big red subscribe button down below. Don't forget, click the bell icon so you'll be notified whenever we put up new content. And check the show notes down below for even more details. So we're going to be looking at wireless mic system from Fifine. It's the K037. First, we're going to do a quick unboxing and then we'll get into more details. I've got the Fifine on right now, and when I look at this, you know, this um, clip, first thing I noticed was this clip. I've had other uh, lapel mics, and the clips are really cheesy. This one, very solid, and I'm not sure if it's metal or not. It sure feels like it, but um, I think this is going to last. So I've got this mounted, and we're going to have all of the sound probably blew it out right there talking down into it. We're going to have all of the sound from this from the K037, from Fifine. We're going to see how this works. Now, let me say something here. I am not going to be comparing this with any other microphones. What would be the purpose of that? You know, I, I've, I've looked at other people's reviews and they say, oh, it doesn't sound as good as my... Rode Micro Pro or whatever, <laughs> or it doesn't sound as good as my Sennheiser this or that. Do you really expect that a microphone system that is as inexpensive as this one is to sound as good as one that costs multiple hundreds of dollars or even more? I certainly don't. What is it I'm looking for? I'm looking for clarity of sound. I don't want it to be breaking up on me because I figure I can, if it's a little bit thin or a little bit tinny, if you want to use that term, I can probably adjust that in post-production. Whatever um, video editing you're using, there's going to be something that allows you to adjust the uh, sound quality to make it a little fuller, what have you. So I'm, I'm really not too concerned about that. As long as it sounds reasonably good, clear, doesn't break up, I'm happy with that. If you're not, you should probably just move on. And obviously you're getting a pretty good indication of what this is like now. We're figuring this out together. I will say this, that we're going to go through a portion of this and it'll be just straight up the way it sounds. And then I'm going to put it into the video editor and I'm going to adjust it. So we'll see how that works out. Now, I'm going to walk around a little bit and continue talking. We'll see about distance. I will mention this. I have absolutely no need for this to go multiples of feet away. I'm never going to be 60, 70, whatever feet away from my camera 
and expect this to work. That is not what I'm here for. Again, if you're looking at being, you know, almost out of sight, go someplace else and look at what they've got to say. I'm not even going to uh, touch that. I'm going to walk around my house here a little bit. And that's about it. So let's do that. And while I'm doing that, I'll talk about um, some of the things that are going on. I'm, you know, I'm going to walk over near my computer, it, you know, and hopefully there won't be any interference. I'm off to one side, and I'm near a, a, a fluorescent lamp that, you know, those things tend to create problems sometimes, so no problem there. I'm going to walk out of the room. Now, the instructions say it should be line of sight. Well, I'm obviously not line of sight now. Walking around into my wife's studio, which is definitely not line of sight. And she's got fluorescence in the ceiling. And I can hear them buzzing. It'll be interesting to see what the mic does. And back here we are. The whole system is really very simple. You have one button on the transmitter that turns it on. And then there's a readout that shows you what frequency you're on. There are 20 different frequencies, so you're going to want to fiddle with that a little bit and see which one works for you. And really nice is that the um, receiver portion of it actually picks it up automatically. You don't have to manually pair the two of them. It's, it happens automatically. Very, very nice. And you'll notice that because there's a little light on it. It goes from green to red. And when it's red, you know you're paired. Perfect. The receiver comes with a quarter-inch audio plug, which, fortunately, FiFine gives you an adapter to go from that into the uh, 3.5 jack on most cameras. So... That's a nice little addition. That's how simple this is. There isn't that much to it. It works. I can see the, the readout on my screen. It's working perfectly. What more do you want? It does the job. Now we're going to test it out here in a little bit and, and load it up on the computer and see what it, um, you know, how it sounds with simple um, right out of the box kind of thing versus having it adjusted in post-production. Let me just say that so far I'm tickled to death with this. I've in the past used a uh, video micro um, and that works fine. I, I still love it when I'm vlogging and I've also used a wired lav mic which has always worked really well too. Obviously, the one caveat to that is you're actually tied to the camera and, you know, you get it tangled up or you trip over it or the dog trips over it. Um, it's just a little, you know, a little more hassle. Now, are there any downsides to this? Well, so far, I haven't come across any. And uh, with the exception of one thing that I wish it did have. The receiver has no way to um, attach it to a, the cold shoe. It doesn't have a little three quarter, uh, 20 threaded mount, so you can put a, a little thing to mount it to your cold shoe. That would be awesome. So I'm going to have to figure out some way of doing that. The transmitter has a nice little clip on it, and that's great for, you know, hanging it on your uh, belt or your waistband of your pants. So, you know, it's very, very nice. Antenna, set button to change the frequency. That's it. There's nothing more to it. It's kind of made um, of a plasticky material. 
I, I, I see no issues here. Heavy duty enough for me? Hey, if you like this kind of content, where we talk travel, accessories, camera gadgets, why don't you leave us a comment down below, give us a thumbs up, share it, and of course, subscribe and click that bell icon. We do appreciate it. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot. 55037.